Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys my Card Fight Vanguard, the Galaxy Stargate pre-release booster pack opening. I uh, got my uh, kit in again today. It's a really interesting set. Uh, just like the Awakening Zoo, this set's uh, theme is all about the units from Stargate. So with each um, kit, you also get the awesome playmat that features Stark, the Xeroth Dragon for that nation. Try and zoom out as best as I can just to get a full view uh, of the mat. Very, very nice. I do love the color scheme for Stark all in all. But with each one, we have the 39 packs. So we have the eight entries here and the uh, glorious seven prize packs that we'll do at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and zoom back in so we have a kind of a better view. And let's go ahead and begin. So with each entry, you also get four uh, packs. Also forgot to mention, the promo for the entries is Cosmic Hero, Grand Dider, or Grand Aider. Uh, one of the two, or other, mispronounced. But let's go ahead and get started. So we have Great Cosmic Hero, Granda Bot, Oda Blauschi Life. I am going to butcher the Blau name, so might just mention that it's a Blau card. Magical Performer. Uh, Deposed the leader Galora, Otero Blau Fliegen, uh, Dimensional Robo Die Supporter, and our first hollow is Blazar Blau Kluger. Uh, double rare, but a very, very good uh, Blau Stride. I think it has that um, restand capability, and that's always good when it comes to that deck. So let me go ahead and separate. I also do like the foil pattern, those like bullet uh, marks are very good. They look very nice is the better word for it. We'll go through most of the commons until we have most of them like seen and then we will get to the just going through for the rares. Grand Gunner, Ninjad Extreme Battler, Build Standard, Dimensional Robo Die Raptor, Dimensional Robo Die Bloom, uh, Viastos or Vlastos Messiah, and uh, Myga Messiah. Definitely the pack to invest in if you're a fan of Stargate. Which I know there are those people that are out there that definitely enjoy those packs. Uh, Vesta Blau Kling, Cosmic Hero Grand Wisdom, Trick Deleter Zaug, Dimensional Robo Die Crusher, Zar Bloglands, Link Deleter Elinge, and we have Large Wheel of Cosmos. Cosmos, my apologies. Cosmo Wreath. When you see it, you may pay the cost. Choose my opponent's rear guards. I had to make sure this wasn't the one that wasn't a reprint, but I think that uh, Perfect Guard, our G Guardian, you have to unflip one, and that one did not. So, just a very nice looking G Guard for the old Perfect Card, I believe. So, last pack from the first entry, we have Grand Biger, Grand Gunner, Dimensional Robo Pilot Matthew, Wild Child of Many Worlds Interpretation. Now that's an interesting name for sure. Dimensional Robo Die Draft. Uh, Extreme Battler Gunzodon. And we have Dimensional Robo Battle Commander Magna Die Bird. So this is uh, the stride for Dimensional Robos, which I think they uh, stuck most of the triple rares for this set as the grade threes and whatnot for the support. And leaving most of the strides to be double rare, which I think is pretty good. Grand Bulger, Oda Blauschleife, Resistance Starvator Polonium, Trick Deleter Zaug, Biting Deleter Giva. We have a Heaven and Earth combination, Tri Earth for Dimensional Police, and High Pressure Starvator Amerisium. So we're definitely covering, I think, most of the elements too with these uh, Starvator units, that's for sure. Young Blouse Fector, Dimensional Robo Die Cutter, Giora, Blau Lands. They're giving us some Blau triggers too, what people want. A Dimensional Robo Die Magna, this perfect guard I think is going to make Die Shield outdated, just because it has an effect in the same guard capabilities as it. And we have Death Starvator, Chaos Universe, Althani. So we're really keeping up with the stride, um, you know, theme here. Uh, with all the uh, sub-archetypes, too, for the uh, clans in this set. 
So two packs from this entry left. Uh, Bade Block Cannon, Great Cosmic Hero, Grand Abbott, Lady Bomber of Magnetic Storm, Build Standard, Sar Blog Lands, uh, Cosmic Hero, Grand Hogan, and we have Cosmic Hero, Grand Monk, the perfect guard for the Cosmic Hero deck. I gave the D-Robos the rare uh, treatment for this pack, and it looks like they gave the Cosmic Heroes the double rare. Looks like it has an effect for resist as well. Definitely handy for Cosmic Heroes. Uh, Ninjad. I think we've gone through most of them. I'll just note some worthy ones if we haven't seen them. Great Galactic Beast Zeal. So G Guardian uh, version of Zeal. And Demolition Beast Demolzorus. So this is a Nova Grappler Stride. Rare. I do like with a lot of these clan booster sets that they give enough support to basically do a good start for the deck that you want to build. So, a Dimensional Robo, Die Moon, Sphere Star Attack, Duthonium, and we have our first triple rare, which is Ideal Ego Messiah, uh, the new grade three for Messiahs, which I find crazy because we just got one with the. Um, Trial decks for Link Joker, and they gave us another one in such a short time, too. I'm also trying to see a theory with these kits. From what I've seen, you either pull the Z-Rare or you'll pull a Gen-Rare, um, depending on that. We'll see if it's true or not. Dimensional Robo Die Cutter. We have Varuna Blauwand. Uh, Blau Perfect Guard here. And Meteo Kaiser Doga, Dogon Titan. There it is. This is actually really, really cool because this one allows you to place it back face down to unlock or flip up a card on the field. So you can uh, basically have infinite G-Guard with decks like Perfect Riser. That's the first thing that came to my mind because being able to infinite G-Guard and then just like, you know, shuffle back your heels with risers. I mean, the deck could basically go on forever if you were lucky enough. A young Blausch Fetter, Cosmic Hero. There's Dr. Angstrom, the uh, student of Mr. Invincible. That's how I like to see it. Extreme Battler, Jero Hawk. And High Pressure Starvator, Americium again. So, the last pack for this entry. We have Extreme Battler, Arshid. And we have Original Deleter Gal, or Gal Yield Field. Very odd phrase there for the name. Another stride, though. I'm pretty sure the strides are pretty nice to have. Like I said, a lot of people need those for their decks. The builds might be different, but usually the strides stay the same of what they need. Uh, Rima Blaukerit. A lot of Blau support, too. I'm excited for that. It's the one deck I do want to work on along with um, uh, D-Robos for this pack. Cosmic Hero Grand Rope and Dimensional Robo Die Ballast. A good grade 2 for the deck. And you're basically revamping the whole D-Robo deck with all the support that you got from this pack. I think just a couple cards from the old support for that set. We have Racer Deleter Baird or Baird. And up oh, we have an SP. Awesome. Bravest Victor Grand Gallop. Now that is cool. It is a 13k uh, original power. I don't think it can be called to rear guard. If you do not have a grade 4 face up uh, with Grand Gallop and its card name on your Vanguard or G Zone, this card cannot be normal called to rear guard. So it has that restriction, but a 13k base for Vanguard is always nice uh, just for that protection from other units, especially from single 11k attacks. And we even got an SP, like I said. Beautiful. Great display of the art. Nice. So we've got two more packs, and then the first four entries are out of the way. Dr. Angstrom. We have Medio Kaiser again, and another Baird. Last pack here. Now, SPs, I don't think, take up anything, so we're still up in the air about either Stark or the G Rare, so we'll see how that goes. We have Extreme Battler Jero Hawk, and our first heal trigger is Argo Blauner G. I was about to 
badly mispronounced that, but saved myself there at the end. I think I still badly mispronounced it, but um, so yeah, anyway. Uh, blouse support once again, awesome. They have that, you know, effect heel now too. So they really went all out for the blouse in this set. So kudos to them. We wanted to put the deck together for a while. So on to the last four. And don't forget we still have the prize packs as well. Another ZLG guard and uh, another Nova Grappler stride. Uh, Cosmic Hero Grand Hogan and Vlastos Messiah. We have another Zeal and Myga Messiah. All right, let's see this pack. We have Demolition Beast again. And we have, oh, this is a double rare. Hack Deleter Greygill for Deleter Link Joker. I think this might be, yeah, this is, I don't know if this is the main grade three or not, or just a backup one. But clean up some of the garbage, get that out of the way. On to the next one. And I'm always curious to see what the pack, the prize packs have in store for us. Uh, oh, I didn't even know they reprinted this, but cool. Extreme Battler Sever Temper and Dimensional Robo Die Bale. I don't think I pulled either of these yet, so sweet. We have Fierce Attack Starvator Dubnium. And we have the Link Joker heel this time, Star Vader Magellanic Stream. So I wasn't sure. I don't really, I didn't really look up too too many of the cards from uh, this set, so I wasn't sure what was uh, sub plan or not. So cool that they kept that one of Star Vader. I'm sure a lot of people are happy about that, and there are a lot of people that also complain that it wasn't a deleter. So we got both sides, I'm sure. You knew it was going to be a Star Vader. Another die bale. And we have a triple rare. Extreme Battler Golshachi. Golshachi. Uh, like I said, okay, grade two. I think, yeah, this card is actually really good for the Extreme Battler deck, so good pull on that part. Nice. And last pack from this entry. We have uh, Cosmic Hero Grand Rope. And we have another triple rare. So this entry, I think, had two triple rares. Star Vader Chaos Breaker Close. So the new Chaos Breaker card it does look cool. But once again, we did receive a new Chaos Breaker from the uh, Rondu of Chaos and Salvation pack. So quite crazy to see another one soon. But that's basically going to be, I think, the new support that you use for the deck for sure. Two entries left. Still up in the air. G rare or Z rare. Hoping to pull at least one or the other. We have Link Deleter Elinge and another Severed Temper. So the ratios for the rares might be the same in these. It's just that, you know, you don't know when you're going to get one or the other. Uh, Cosmo Wreath and another Die Bale. We have Extreme Battler Guns Done, and we got the heel trigger for D Robos this time. Uh, Dimensional Robo Outfitter Cassie. So I don't think I've gotten all three of the heels before when I did one of these openings. So sweet to see her along with the other ones in the set. Counting this, the one entry and the prize packs, 12 packs remaining. We have Fierce Attack Star Vader Dubnium and Varuna Blau Wand. For blouse. The last entry. We have Cosmic Hero Grand Rope and another Baird or Bayard Baird. I don't know. We have Extreme Battler Sever Temper 
and Zubat Battler Victor. Now, everyone, I don't think of Zubat because it is exactly that, as you can see now on the English text for the card. Zubat Battler Victor. So the new uh, Victor unit. It's very, very good. Um, I think I kind of underrated it when I first saw it, but definitely has that good potential for the deck. Especially since that draw ability. All right, two packs left from this one. Extreme Battler Arshid and Dimensional Robo Die Supporter. I don't know if I pulled her. I think she might be my first rare that I pulled, but she is a stride fodder for D Robos. Which I like that a lot of different decks are getting those now. Uh, Heaven and Earth Combination Tri Earth and Dimensional Robo Die Magnal. Once again, for D Robos. All right, so we've gone through all the entries. All that's left is the prize packs. Uh, we'll see if I pull a Gen Rare or a Z Rare or not. We got seven packs remaining. Pretty happy with the box so far. We even pulled an SP, so quite ecstatic about that. We have Cosmic Hero Grand Hogan and another Galactic Beast Zeal. I don't think we have a reprint yet either. Uh, Cosmic Hero Grand Rope and another Zubat Battler Victor. So we've pulled two of those from this uh, uh, sneak kit so far. I forgot the name of what I bought for a second, but awesome. Sweet. And in a row too, that was the latest holo. Uh, high Pressure Starvator Amercium and another Die Magnal. Four packs left. It's going to blow my theory right out of the water. Just you watch. Uh, dimensional Robo Die Bale. And another Dimensional Robo Battler Magna Die. Is it Bird? Yep, it is Bird. Alrighty. Winding down, the more nervous I get with each one. Extreme Battler Arshid and die supporter so i don't know if you, we should still confirm that you get a reprinted card with each one as well but we haven't gotten that either and still either a gen rare or z rare or that sp spot took it up we'll find out uh demolition beast demosiris and Sever Temper, so that means, let's see how we end it. That's what we're gonna do. We have Fierce Attack, Starvader, Dubnium, and up oh, we got just the reprint, the Cosmic Hero Grand Beat. So I knew we were guaranteed that, but I guess the SP will either take up a uh, triple rare spot, no, the SP will either take up the Z rare spot, or it'll take up the um, gen rare, but other than that, maybe it's also a triple rare, but all in all, it was very good. I was happy with the results of everything. Uh, like I said, the main thing I'm looking to build from this set are dimensional robos and, uh, blouse. So got a good amount of that. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Qualia out.